Troy same. Sivan is upset that straight people are using the word twink in replacement of the F-slur. Let's watch this. Road and hitting grinder at every stop. Straight people are getting way too comfortable. Yeah. I released an album. Yeah. I am touring the album yep. with Charlie XCX. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. We are playing 22 shows across the country that are 95% sold out, by the way. The only city that we're flopping in is Nashville, and it's at 78%. Um, but to say that I am touring the country to go on Grinder at every stop, like, that's genuinely homophobic. It's like a stereotype. Don't sex shame me. First of all, I don't need to travel the country to get laid. I can get laid wherever I want. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Like, yeah. um, I'm going on tour because I released an album and because people are buying tickets to come to uh, see the show. So, fuck you. Also, if you, this is not for her, this is just like a general note. If you say twink where you meant to say faggot, that's still a slur. That's like our word. I don't think straight people should be using that. Mm. I have in the past. Well, I think... Tell the field. Oh Wheel out the fucking podium. And folks, that's the reason. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Wheel it out. I said, Wheel I said it so, out. I said that so comfortably. No, yeah. not as Look, a substitute. But no, I, there was a moment. I, I, can I complete him about something? Yeah. And this Are has been bothering me. You? No, this has been bothering me for quite a while. And I don't think anybody like really picked up on it. Or maybe some people did. I don't really fucking know. I don't really read TikTok comments. But Harry Daniels, yeah. When he serenaded me, I was mm -hmm. uncomfortable, right? And everyone was like joking, like, haha, like, uh, you know, Hassan is a, a foe or whatever. And when I was describing the story, when I was recalling the story, I called him a twink. I was like, this random twink just rolled up at me. Ooh. And I put some stink on it. Mm. And I literally haven't stopped thinking about that ever since because I was like, you put a hard ink on mm -hmm. it. Because twink. I was like, yeah. no, I'm serious. I'm <laughs> yeah. serious. If you go back and you find like me referencing it, I think mm. it was on this podcast, mm -hmm. literally, where like I have not stopped thinking about that mm. because to the uninitiated person who is like not aware of who I am, if they look at that situation and they only watch my reaction like that, they would absolutely, I would not even fault them for a moment into thinking that I was using that in a derogatory way. Mm. They don't know that I'm a bottoms right advocate. They don't know that I'm the no. number one defender. I'm the number one defender of He's bottoms rights. A BRA. And, and against this selfish top I'm right not here. Not a selfish top. They don't know that. If, so if someone doesn't know that and they're like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, well, I guess more people probably think I'm a gay guy saying that. So it doesn't really no. matter. But, like, but people no. that know I'm straight, but they don't know. I have. I have. <laughs> I have included you into so many homo, so much homoerotic content that they think you're queer baiting by existing. Dude, that was another thing. People Some people are, think you're queer baiting just by by virtue of being in, like, uh, uh, try it. No, you have to. It's the worst thing I've tasted in my life. It's so bad. It's it's weird because it's, it's got like a smoothie, yeah, taste like a Gatorade. Can I take that? Yes, it's not supposed to be that consistency. It's not supposed to be that consistency. I don't hate it as much as you do. No, but it, it's like it shocks your sensibilities. I think it's delicious. Okay. I'll have it. I think Austin's trying to get. Yeah, bro, you've <laughs> on been the like mailer. really He's fucking trying to get on the mailer. This you've is been fantastic, weird about and it. so is this. I think he's just hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Hassan has this privilege where he is perceived as so attractive that his mere existence in the ho in gay spaces makes him a queer baiter. Oh. Okay. So that's what people were mad about where Chaperone said some stuff about like not endorsing Kamala Harris. Sure. We won't get into the nitty gritty or the politics of it, but like basically a lot of people were mad at her. Mm. He reiterated a position that I've maintained for quite some time, which is like, you need to, you know, make demands out of your politicians. If they're not fucking doing that, then that's not democratic. Like, don't expect people to endorse you or vote for you. Pretty normal stuff. 
people predictably got very mad at her. And someone in my community, I think, like posted a photo of us side by side. Chaperon on the one side, me on the other. And was like, oh, when you're like a hot leftist and you're getting canceled for having like base takes or whatever. It went viral. And a lot of people were in the fucking comments calling me and Chapel Roan, weirdly <laughs> enough, I think. I don't even understand how the fuck she got uh, involved in this. But, like, some people are literally saying that we were both queer baiters. And it's weird because, like, we are both on the opposite ends of that queer baiting spectrum where, like, she's just, she's a lesbian. Like, she's queer. Yeah. Right? And I'm straight. And I openly will say that I am straight. So I don't understand why people are like, oh, if you're like a hot guy that I want to fuck, that means you're queer baiting. Yeah. That's what I'm, <laughs> but like, what do you mean? I, that's I don't not know how this yeah. works. No, I don't get it. And like, I'm I, not even remotely sexually ambiguous no, about like. No, that's what's so funny about it is it's like they, I've seen comments have been like, oh, man, that Hassan Piker queer baiter. Mm. You know what or, I mean? Which I think is funny. <laughs> I think, I think, I think funny. unfortunately, we live in a time where if you're a creator that's just comfortable being around homosexuality and embracing the culture, mm -hmm. you are considered a queer beta. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's like, what do you want me to do? Be homophobic? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's me. I'm responsible a little bit because I have denied because of vehemently. the will they, won't they? Yeah. yeah. I have denied vehemently our relationship. We don't it's, open relationship. It's not working. Which is, no, a lot of. No, are you sure, Marsh? Pull up the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get back to this Troy Savon thing, but that was such a good segue. I couldn't help myself. Look at this TikTok. In my mind, Hassan Abi and Hassan Show are dating, but Hassan has to stay in the closet because if he were to come out, he wouldn't be taken as seriously by his male majority audience. <laughs> well, first of all, you don't have a male majority audience. I do. Actually, you do. I do. And and look, a lot of the comments are congratulations. You are on the Fear and Podcast. Where is this? Austin is going to mention this on the next Fear Hand episode. I just know it. He yes. sent it as soon as it came out. It had like like 2,000 likes, yep. I think. I clocked it. Like came he, on my For You he, page. It was on his For You page. Anyway, he's on, he's on the gay, gay Shipper Talk. Let me, let me put this to bed, folks. It's not real. Yes, it's not me happening. and Will. Yeah. Like, that's what... It's <laughs> right there. No, it's right there in front of... It's them. It's not us, for sure. Um, no, but back to the Troy Savon thing. Yeah. Using the word twink in the place of the F slur. Now, I've been very open about this. I just say the F slur, right? Yeah. Instead of the well, I don't think twink. it's. I don't You're think it's a. Gay. I don't, I don't think, think it's a homosexual about. crime. He's I will, talking about. I will say I'm with him specifically with the video that he was referencing. I do think that, like, number one, what does make me angry and upset, uh, and I get it too, uh, is that the hypersexualization the, of a gay man. Yes. Yes. And, and the insinuation that, like, I'm or any of us as gay men are out there sucking and fucking and on grinder on a consistent basis. And you know what? If we are, then so be it. So fucking be so it. So be it. And don't slut shame us. And Hassan's looking at me right now, and he, he's trying to make it seem like I am because I can't defend myself. I, I haven't been on grinder in a long time. That's right. That's right. I have been called so many things online. <laughs> so much by, by Hassan. By Hassan, but this is the perpetuator <laughs> of all the memes that ever exist. Is because of Hassan. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? He's a fucking queer baby. We are not Go bringing. <laughs> we are not bringing. Shut up, the twink. Japan. <laughs> we're not bringing the Japan trip Austin into this conversation. Mm. We're not. I slept with one person in Japan. <laughs> it's more the, the the energy you brought to the table. I was in. I was going through a rough time in my life. You were hungry. I was. <laughs> That's okay. And I got. Fed. We'll get you some more lunchables. <laughs> Thank you.